Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and you are in Turkey headquarter. Today's video is about Evangelist Chukwebuka Obi. I honestly want to tell you guys um, what you need to know about the man of God. Yes. So this handsome man you are saying right here, his full name is Chukwebuka Anozie Obi. He's a man of God from Nigeria. He's an evangelist, a singer, teacher, and also a prophet. He had a twin brother. And also, he's from a very strong Roman Catholic family. And his parents are Mr. and Mrs. Vincent Obi. He's from Ubolu, Iheji of Four, in Oru West local government, in Imo State, Nigeria. He is the pioneer and spiritual director of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach. This um, ministry is a non-denominational ministry. It was actually established in 2009 and the headquarter is located in Lagos, Nigeria. Right now, Zion Prayer Movement Outreach has over 190 branches worldwide. Evangelist Chukwebuka Anose Obi is the founder of Seraphic Home Foundation. Seraphic Home Foundation is a place where he takes care of less privileged widows, widowers, you know, orphans, sick people, mentally deranged people, and homeless people, and etc. All of those kind of people. He took and he's still taking care of them. And that place is is like um, a home to so many people that fall into all these categories that I mentioned. Evangelist Chukwe Bukobi is also um, founder of Seraphic Hospital. This hospital is like um, a world-class medical and maternity center and is located in the same place with um, the Seraphic Home Foundation. Also, the doctors and nurses in this hospital is, <laughs> they are, they are well trained. Like, according to people that have been there, the hospital is very, very good. And he comes there now and then to pray for, you know, sick people. Remember, as you're looking for miracle, you need to like um find it medically. Then you pray for what you know for um the one you are doing, the medication you are taking to work. You pray. And then take your medication or you take your medication and then pray for miracle there are some things that requires you while you pray you still take some medications I don't know. evangelist ebukobi also um has a table water company called seraphic water seraphic water is a carefully purified water and Thousands of people around the world has been testifying, giving a lot of testimonies. You know, they have recorded um, on daily basis of the spiritual healing of the water. Like after taking, after drinking the water, some people has encountered deliverance, some restoration, you know, taking place upon them, upon their life after drinking or applying the water with faith. What works most about miracle is you having faith that surely there will be miracle in your life. Not just you want to receive miracle. 
Miracle happens to those who believe in miracle. And miracle also happens to those that have faith. That is what I understand as miracle. Furthermore, evangelist Chukwebuka Obi is a very good man, a dynamic ministry who started prophesying at the tender age of eight. He had people troop into his father's compound from different places in search of him. He was later discovered and spiritually groomed by the late father, Luke, or the Camere of Olu Diocese in Imo State, Nigeria. He's a Catholic priest, actually. So after his education, he went off to Lagos for greener pastures, which he hoped would be more, you know, beneficial to him, you know, as a young man now. Like the Igbos um, likes to go to Lagos and hustle, you know, that kind of thing. He went to do what the Igbos called Nwa boy. But his thriving business or doing the Nwa boy ship, entrepreneurship, could not quench the fire of the Holy Spirit burning in him. One morning, according to him, he had a voice echo in his ears, instructing him to shut down his business for full-time evangelism. So basically, after his entrepreneurship or Nwa boy, it takes some years. Then after then, um, you have to like start your own business. It's a kind of you learning how to do this business, but they do it for so many years. And the person you did it with will settle you and you open your own business. So April Kobe eventually went through the Nwa boy uh, or stroke entrepreneurship something training. Then he eventually opened his own business. But the Holy Spirit told him that it is time. It is time for him, you know, to face his call. So he said one morning he had a voice instructing him to shut down his business so that he will become or go into evangelism full time. So the voice also told him that he had the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon him with the Bible verses like Isaiah 61, you know, compiling with his instruction, you know, um, his family was not really, um, was not really, I don't know how, I'm not, I'm not going to use the word not in support. You know, that kind of thing that you want your son or your daughter to be something and your daughter or your son is telling you that he wants to go and be preaching in the street. He wants to become an evangelist. You know, that kind of feeling you have. It's not as if you don't want your son or your daughter to know God, but actually they have a missed feeling about it. And at last, everything came to pass and Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach was born. This is actually how evangelist Abu Kobi started Zion Prayer Movement Outreach with few people. And before then, he was actually, you know, supported by a lot of people who knows what he can do. Even Mbaka washed his feet, his feet in a day like this Holy Thursday where... Um, we are Catholics, they wash their feet. It's not everybody that they wash their feet. But, yeah, so as you can see on this picture right here was when Reverend Father Mbaka was washing his feet just like they wash Jesus' feet. Now, over the years, Evangelist Abu Kobe has like passionately taught Christians around the world how to apply the principles of faith which we can be found in the bible 
and he also confirmed that um, God has been confirming his words with all those miracles that you have been seeing him performing. I know a lot of people started like since last year and early this year. A lot of people from social media you know, has been saying that his miracles are fake and all of that, which a lot of us, which have inner eyes, is saying no. Evangelist Abu Kobe's miracle is not fake. Evangelist Abu Kobe has been healing people. God has been using him to heal people. And the main thing about Evangelist Abu Kobe's ministration, like they are like characterized by salvation, you know, deliverance, healing, signs, wonders unusual demonstration and you know mass manifestation i said man <laughs> god i'm sorry manifestation of the raw power of the holy ghost and by divine providence his prophecies are always accurate i've known a lot of people that have not even met evangelist Ebukobi before true prophecy true night of open heaven that's when they heard their name being mentioned just just because they are always tuning in to pray with him on live television whenever he's live on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram during night of open heaven. They have not seen Abu Kobe physically before. They only watch him on television, but they receive their prophecies and they are always accurate with instant and permanent solution. If you don't know, Evangelist Abu Kobi, a lot of people refer to him as John the, Bapt- John the Baptist of our time. Due to his selfless commitment to the work of God, you know, and his concentrated lifestyle. I know a lot of you out there on social media do not like him because he's blunt and um, he say things the way it is. You know, but we are not God. God has already chosen him, you know, and I've watched him. So I've watched Evangelist Chukwebuka Obi um, lay down on the rock and pray and pray for people crying and praying for you and I. So also Evangelist is that man of God you always see on your television doing what is called night of open heaven which is done every um I think 11 30 p.m of Nigerian time every day and he also do um, a daily online prayer program um like holy ghost courts you will see where you know he tried to reconcile families during his holy ghost courts he also does 100 days prayer which he a lot of people has testified you know before the end of the 100 days um there is always um, lots of testimonies from people all over the world, you know. Evangelist Abu Kobe is not what those people out there are saying he is. Those people tarnishing his image, calling him a, um, a fake miracle performer and all of that. All his miracles are not fake some of the people that receive those miracles are far away in america london or another part of nigeria which is not even lagos they only got their miracle online just following him praying online and all of that so yeah this is evangelist ebu kobe the humble servant of god who has like devoted his time 
energy to win souls for Christ. To, you know, um, help people um, reconcile families, you know, bring peace to families, give hope to the hopeless, give food to um, to the hungry, give give shelter to the homeless, you know, and encourage the orphans, the poor, and every other people. This man right here has given his life to serve humanity. He has given his life to help deliver um, people from bondage. He said it himself that he wants to um, deliver billions of souls for Christ before he die. He's not dying now. I reject it. He's not dying now. But when he gets old, like 100 and something or even 200 years, you know, because this miracle he's performing, our great, 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 great grandchildren will surely, surely be a partaker of it. So, guys, this is all you need to know about evangelists Chukwe Buka and Nose Obi, the founder of Zion Ministry known as Zion Prayer Movement Outreach, ZPMO. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope right now you can be able to say the little you know about this evangelist. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys on my next video. I'm wishing you guys a beautiful Easter.